What's up everyone? Today I want to show you how to use the new and updated Anchor app. So let's go ahead and click on it. The first three thing we're going to look at is the listen tab at the bottom. So we have the listen tab, the record tab, and the profile tab. The listen tab is just going to show you the favorite stations that you have. So right here I can see all of the, all of the stations that I have favorited before and the the purple icon shows you how many episodes that that station has recorded. Now, the good thing about this new update is that, is that you can actually discover new podcasts easier and you can be discovered easier as well. So you can be shown on the rise, the cool podcast ideas section, the top top episodes, or people can actually search by category. So if they want to talk about sports, maybe they like basketball a lot, they can click on sports and then go to, okay, I see through the lens of basketball, I'll click on that, right? And then you can click on either one of the two episodes that this podcast has, okay? You can unfavor or favor, obviously, this is the same, or this is the equivalent as following someone on Instagram or any other social media platform, and you can actually message them, which I'll show you how that works later on. So now... Um, that's pretty much it for the listen tab. Let's go ahead and go to the profile tab. Here you can see how many people have favorited my station, which are 55 people. How many favorites I have, which means pretty much the people that I'm following are 42 people. And then I have received overall 1,000 applauses throughout my podcast. So you have the episodes tab and the, and the drafts tab. Before you couldn't have any drafts, so pretty much you had to record the podcast on the spot. If you messed up, you couldn't save that episode and then post it later on. Like you had to redo the entire episode or that at least that segment. So now you can save different drafts. So right here you have all the episodes that I have, either published or unpublished. If it has that purple icon that says publish, it means that it has not been published yet. And if we go all the way down here, Let's say episode one of Sep Talks. I have published this one and he has 62 listens. Uh, it is 13 minutes and 37 seconds long. And it, it was posted on October 11th, 2017. Let's go to the editing part of your uh, profile. To do that, you're going to select the three dots at the top right. And you're going to click on settings. Now, right here, you can choose a new photo for yourself a different color for your podcast or kind of like the theme of your podcast and right here you're going to explain your name your bio your email your custom url so i just direct people to my um the same uh handle that i have for instagram and twitter which is bastion g06 my website is just my instagram profile i haven't made one yet and then right here under podcast settings that's what people are going to be seeing uh, when they search for your podcast or anything related to your podcast. So right here, my podcast name is Sep Talks, Millennials Accomplishing Stuff. And then the podcast description, you can be as um, specific as you want with that. You can choose a photo for your podcast. You can cho choose the category for your podcast. You can choose a language for your podcast. And then under podcast distribution, these are the links that you have um, where you can share and with other people so just know that you can you have the ability to share your podcast on google play on apple podcast on overcast on pocket cast and on stitcher so right here you would um you, were, you would be able to see all of those links um and then last you have um, the ability to connect accounts so i have twitter facebook and spotify connected I don't have Apple Music connected because I don't use Apple Music, but if you do, then then you know you can you can connect your playlist to Anchor, and then right here it says play full length songs. That is just meaning when you want to share a song, do you want to share the entire song or do you want to share the best clip from it? I personally like to sh share just a small clip on it, but that's just up to you. Okay, so if you want to connect your Apple Music account, just select connect and it's pretty simple from there. Now, let's go ahead and save this. 
we can go back and you can see the changes being reflected and now let's go to the record tab in the middle you're going to see four icons at the bottom the one on the left if you click on that it it's the voice messages okay so here just think about it as the dms of anchor so for example if i want to message the inspiration station what i need to do is i click on his name and then to record a message and this is something with the update when you want to record you want to hold the red button and then swipe all the way up once you let go of the finger it will keep recording so right here i can say hey chris I checked out your podcast and it was amazing. I had a question about your business. So if you could get back to me and we could talk a little bit more about it, that would be great. Hope you have a great day. Then you tap the lock button again to stop recording. You can listen to it and you know see if you want to redo that recording or if you are good. So then now I'm going to save it. It's going to ask you if you want to save... Um, or sorry name the the segment okay this segment is only going to be seen by chris so i'm going to write down test number uh 500 because i've done this like 500 times and then i'm going to send the message okay so at the bottom you can see um right there test 500 and now chris is going to listen to it and he can reply back to me so that's pretty much it um you can you know, I, I've received different people saying, hey, like, I like your stuff or thanks for listening to my podcast, different things like that. It makes it very unique. It makes it very personal. So if you're trying to really grow your brand on Anchor, you, uh, I would recommend you do this. Now, let's go to the second tab or the second icon, which is the record with friends. So right here, I can say, okay, I want to look for the inspiration station. Um, and I'm going to record with him. So th this is the cool thing about Anchor is you can record with anyone anywhere in the world. Right now, I'm going to invite him. Uh, I don't need to connect with friends or contacts right now. I'm going to cancel that because I don't want to actually record a podcast with him right now. But that's pretty much the way it works. It's really, really simple. Now, I would recommend using that a lot, especially if you really want to establish your brand on Anchor. We're going to go to the third tab, which is the music tab. Right here is where I connected my Spotify account to Anchor and I can actually add my own music. So if I want to run a running type of song, I can. we can add this song to the episode. And then I can either publish this episode, but what I would do in that case is just publish a song. So I'm going to click not yet. Now, the last icon is the transitions. You can do small, short transitions like the bleep sound. And I'm just going to do that one right now. Um, you can play around with those, but those are pretty, uh, pretty simple to use. And it's going, going to ask you again, are you ready to publish this episode? I'm going to say not yet. The last thing I want to do is I want to record myself, right? The, probably the biggest part about this um, application. All you need to do now is simply hold the red button down and slide your finger all the way up. Once you do that, you can let go of your finger and keep talking and recording your episode. Once you're done recording the episode, simply select the red button again and it's going to take you to the background tracks. Here you can swipe and select different tracks that you like. Once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and save it and you're going to name this segment. I'm going to name this segment the test tutorial once I add this recording to the episode, it's going to ask me, are you ready to publish this episode? I'm going to say not yet because I'm not actually going to post this episode. But that's pretty much it for the new and updated version of Anchor. It is a great tool uh, for podcasting. And if you are not sure if you want to dive in all the way into podcasting, but you just want to get started, Anchor is a great tool for that. It is relatively brand new, so you can build your brand in there. So I hope this video served as some value to all of you guys. If it did, make sure you leave a comment. Um, make sure you subscribe. And if you guys want to see more tutorials or um, different videos on Anchor or some other applications, just let me know.